hello everyone welcome back and thank you for watching today i'm going to show you how to make some quick and easy dollar tree diys using these rub on transfers so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you do please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell button so you can get notified every time i upload with that being said now let's cry So these are the rub-on transfers I will be using. I found these at Dollar Tree. Starting with my first project, I will be using this wood circle that says hello. I painted this white and I used a small paintbrush to go around the letters. For the word hello, I thought I wanted the letters to be black, but then I switched it to the antique wax, which I think it made it look so much better. These stickers are so beautiful. I'll only use the word autumn and I placed it underneath the word hello. I also added the leaves on the sides. Now I did not use the pumpkins. I saved those for the next project. But honestly, they look good if you put them up there i'll show you how they would looked i just decided not to i felt like they were too small so instead i decided to use some other pumpkins that i got from the dollar tree this pumpkin came in a pack of a i'm only using one and i'm painting it using the waverly chalk paint in the color pumpkin which is a beautiful orange i did distress it by using some ivory and the same orange color i just mix them together and added some details to the pumpkin for the smaller pumpkin this also came in a dollar tree pack but this one i got it last year so i painted it the same color and then i added these on top of the word hello to finish it off i added a bow on the bigger pumpkin and look how beautiful this hello autumn sign turned out For my next project, I will be using the leftover pumpkins. And not only that, I will be using another pack of the Robon stickers. And I used the word grateful to add it above the pumpkin. I told myself that maybe he ain't worth it. Now to finish this off, I will be adding some jute twine around the jar and I will be making a bow using the same twine that I wrapped around the jar. And that is it. You can use this as a floral base or a candle holder like I did. For my next project, I'm using a 5x7 Dollar Tree picture frame and a piece of wood plank. Now you can find the wood planks at Dollar Tree. The one I'm using is from Michael's. Yeah, Michael's. It was like 49 cents or 25 cents, something like that. But it was very inexpensive. Now I'm also using this Hobby Lobby scrapbooking paper. You can also find some of these at Michael's. And I'm going to just cut it to size and glue it to the back of the picture frame using my Elmer's glue stick. I'm adding the border that this frame had back on there using hot glue. 
Hobby Lobby carries so many beautiful scrapbooking papers that you can use. Not only Hobby Lobby carries them, Michaels carries them too. I painted the wood plane using some white chalk paint and I glued this in the center. Now, before I add the Robin transfer, I decided to add some Jew twine last minute, so it was a little bit hard for me to add it, but I was still managed to tuck it in underneath. And then I placed the backpack on the frame. Now, as you can see, I didn't add the Robin on the wood plane directly. I actually went ahead and added it on top of the frame or the glass on the glass actually on the glass and look how beautiful this rub on transfer is it says pumpkin spice everything nice now to finish this off i made a jute twin bow and i didn't add it inside the frame i added it up on top of it which i think it made it look so much nicer and like it went with it i don't know how to explain it but this turned out so beautiful My next project is going to be very quick and easy and I have done this several times on my channel but I still wanted to show you guys for the ones that are new. So from Dollar Tree I will be using the wooden beads and this leaf that came in a pack of eight. This pack has several different size. I'm using the bigger, the medium and the small. So I'm using five of the big beads which I'm going to paint white. I did use the score stick to make it easier. But because it was only five of them now if you have more you can't use a ziplock bag like i am and adding some paint in that ziplock bag and this is going to make it easier to paint all of the beads once i was done with the medium beads which i painted them using the waverly antique wax i used the same bag and i placed the smaller beads with some of the waverly chalk paint in the color pumpkin which is this beautiful orange And look how beautiful these are now once these are dry i did arrange them before i added them to the jute twine once i knew how i wanted them to go i added them to the jute twine and i didn't cut the jute twine i left some of it left over because i am going to make a little tassel and add the leaf which the leaf i painted it using some white chalk paint distress the edges using the orange color Once the leaf was dry, I did add it to one of the ends of the jute twine and then I made a tassel. To make the tassel, I used some of the jute twine in this wood plank and I just wrapped it around several times. So I'm going to just let the video play so you can see how I did it. It's kind of hard for me to explain. Let me feel your love again. Cause I've been running round in circles screaming out your name. Take me to a different place. Just the two of us and we can stay up all night. Kissing under street lights. Doing what we want to, doing what we need to do Staying up all night, everything is alright Oh, I wanna be with you, oh, I wanna be with you Let me be the someone who can hold your head and that is it now i'm going to add this thankful and blessed leftover robin and add it to the leaf To finish this off, I will be adding a small little jute twine bow to the leaf. And that is it. This turned out so beautiful.
For my next project, I will be using this piece of wood that I got from Michaels. It was only a dollar. Dollar Tree does carry wood that you can use instead. Now I'm going to paint this using some white chalk paint and a little bit of water so you can see some of the wood details. Once this was dry, I used the Waverly Antique Wax and this dress. Now I'm making a pumpkin. For the stem, I'm using a Jenga block that I painted using the Waverly Antique Wax. For this DIY, I'm using this Robin transfer that says Happy Fall Y'all, which is, this is so beautiful. And I'm going to just add it to the center of this. Once I am done adding the transfer, I am adding the stem using hot glue to decorate the top part. I'm adding some leaves and a bow. And that is it for this beautiful pumpkin. For my next project, I'm going to use a Dollar Tree crate. Now these are normally $1.25. But I found this on the clearance because it is bent on the other side, so it was only 50 cents. I'm going to paint this using some white chalk paint. Now, I had two of the Hello Autumn with the pumpkins transfer sheets, so I'm going to use these pumpkins. I then decided to add this Farm Fresh wood sign that I had from a pack that I got recently from Dollar Tree. I painted it using the antique wax and then I added it in front of the pumpkins using hot glue. I decided to distress the basket using the antique wax and then to decorate the inside I'm using this hay looking thing that I got from the Dollar Tree and these clip on pumpkins that I also recently got from the Dollar Tree which they are so beautiful so you can do two white and an orange and I was going to do that but then I was like oh the basket's already white so instead I did two orange and one white and that is it. Look how cute this turned out. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite because I would love to know. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.